welcome everyone to one of the most amazing paradises you will see here in Indonesia and more specifically in Bali. We are in the Nusa Islands. The best way to see the three islands is to stay in one as a base for each day and then go one day each island. So what we did is that we stay in Nusa Lembongan because it was the nicest one, in our opinion. And then we went to Nusa Senengan and Nusa Penida by boat on one day trips. You can either book a tour or just go along if you want. My advice is that you book a day trip just like we did. We booked a day trip for Nusa Penida and then Nusa Senengan, we did it by foot. Because it's a pretty small island, so it's very easy to do it just by foot, cross the yellow bridge and that's it. Since we were staying in Nusa Lembongan, we stroll around that island first. In there you can find places to surf and to dive and also beautiful spots to take pictures. To get to either of the Nusas from Bali, you need to take a ferry or the public boat. It is easier or better to take a speed boat because of the schedule, because the public boat only has like limited schedule. So just look for any trip agency or tourist agency around Bali and book the tour with them. Book the round trip rather than just one way, it's easier. The other difference between the speed boat and the public boat is the price. So of course the public boat is less expensive, but the problem is, as I told you, the schedule and the duration of the trip. With the public ferry, you can take around an hour to get to either of the islands, while with the speed boat, it only takes 35 minutes. For us, since we went to Nusa Lembongan, the round trip was around 450,000 rupiah. We did something and it's that we booked with the accommodation we had before in Bali. So that actually gave us a discount. The speedboat can be from around 450,000 rupiah to around 600 rupiah round trip. So if you are staying in Bali before going to the islands, make sure to ask in your accommodation if they have trips to the island. You might get a discount with that. Our next stop was Nusa Seningan. You can arrive there by crossing the yellow bridge from Nusa Lembongan. And actually it's the smallest island, so you can do everything and visit everything by foot. Regarding the accommodation, in Nusa Lembongan we actually found things cheaper than in Nusa Penida, so we actually did rather stay there and actually because the island is smaller, you can do things by walking or very cheap taxi drive. The accommodation can be the cheapest one, $10 for two people, a private room with private bathroom, which is pretty good. Actually here in Bali we noticed that the hostels are more expensive, so you can stay in a private room for so much as $10, which is very, very good. Everybody advises you that you should rent a motorbike when you are in either of the Nusa Islands and it might be true but if you cannot drive a motorbike or don't have international license there is another option. You will find little public transport like songteos in Thailand that are little buses similar to a public tuk-tuk or golf carts and they can take you anywhere on the island. Just bargain the price and that's it. And our last visit was finally Nusa Penida which is the most popular of the three islands. For this one, since it's the biggest one, we booked a tour that took us around the entire island and to the different points of interest, the transportation and lunch was included in the tour, as well as the visits to all the most popular spots and one stop to the beach to just relax and enjoy the ocean. And that's all for today's video. I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my content and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all on the next trip.